Exactly. It's what they lying. do. Yeah. yeah. It's not a, it's not, it's not a lie. It's a lie. If you, you believe, believe it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, um, so yeah, so they went through with a hypnosis under the, under the, what was the polygraph? Of the I don't know, but they didn't have him do a polygraph. That's what I mean. Yeah, so why, why sodium menthol? Yeah. Like that's weird. That was the that was what they wanted. That's what they just wanted. Bizarre. They felt like I don't know. Go straight for that. It just, well, I guess these are the really same weird. people that went to like, hypnosis first of all. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That is true. Nineteen oh two first polygraph. The yeah. bare bones. Yeah. So I, what the I, fuck? I'm pretty sure they had this, this place must be ran by wizards or some shit. Like how does this make any <laughs> sense? The Italians are like the polygraph. That's pseudoscience. Yeah. Get them in with they, the hypnotists. They got a <laughs> flair the for the theatrics. Room. Yeah. Uh, so when they put him under and they and they actually had this like Dr. Moretti, the first doctor, he refused to do it. He wasn't going to do it. He wasn't because yeah, like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? Uh, um, they had to actually go to Milan. Uh, Back to our bags. We are going to Milan. Yeah. Uh, for they had to go to the International Center of Medical and Psychological Hypnosis, where they worked with a professor, uh, Marco Marchison. Marchison. Um, who was actually an authority on hypnosis and was recommended by Moretti. Like I think he's recommended by actually Doctor Sprinkles, or... is what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know he's legit. Uh, and so uh, they injected him with the truth serum, and then again they put him under for hypnosis. Uh, a couple other things. I'd be asking, is like, is this about. like, is this gonna consult the Dosh committee here? Like, can you fucking inject me? Like your employer? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's has, like uh, can Wimis? I just get a shop steward? <laughs> yeah, is this Wimis approved? Like, it's... <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine you're working like work safe? Hey, your work safe claim after this, yeah. Andrew? <laughs> like, uh, come on, we know you called in sick, uh, um, so we're gonna, you know, work. No, it's not the death. That. It's the green men with the horns and the saga skin. Yeah, uh, and we're gonna, you know, do you agree to uh, take a sodium pentothal? Pe pentothal? Pen what is it? Sodium pentothal. Sodium pentothal. Yeah, pentothal. one of those. One of those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they put him under here and they came out with a little bit you know eked out a couple more details about his experience about him uh th this mysterious green light that that was emanating from the craft and lifted him up into this alien spaceship uh they talked about um how he actually like this is when he kind of started actually like communicating uh with the with the aliens like it was coming out that he was actually like having kind of dialogue with them uh the first couple ones it was just him actually just seeing these creatures um but the the one when they when they kind of put him under under the the truth serum is when they actually he started to kind of talk uh with these creatures um so the the sightings in his experience his abduction experiences like wouldn't stop after that one so he had another experience on the 30th of july uh of 1979 um this is when he was patrolling on an actual like he had a motorcycle he keeps going patrol. back to the same oh, job listen, listen. <laughs> they took the car away from him they're like it's hey, free to you last time you you don't drive the car you lose control take the motorcycle I, there's no way this is a motorcycle. This is Italy. That's got to be a Vespa for sure. It's 100% uh, a yeah, Vespa. Yeah, so it could have been a motorbike. No, it's yeah. a Vespa. Um, a one, so 125cc. Yeah. So they did, like, 100% they downsized it from the, yeah. from the car to the Vespa. 100%. So, he, so, so he, went from, he went from a Fiat to a fucking Vespa. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, they actually did try to suspend his firearm license. Real like, shocking. I mean, understandably. Shocking. Um, I would, I would but hope in a way, no, he's, he's but, a rogue. He's a rogue uh, fucking. Zanfreda got card. the union involved, got their their workers union involved, and they got it back. That's what you, so, that's what you do, um, okay? I mean, that's what you know. Unions, baby. <laughs> Call your union rep. Um, make a complaint. File a grievance. <laughs> maintain your firearm. Um, and and when he was put under hypnosis again, every time pretty much he has a, an experience, like they put him under hypnosis. And when he's talking about this one, um, he talks about that the he was actually given something from the beans. Like the beans were trying to give him something. They gave him some type of object that he described. It was like a it was like a crystal ball, and within it there was like some sort of pyramid uh, object, like encased within this sphere. And the way that the the beans kind of communicated to him that this would be some type of a communications device, like this would be able to to show whoever was was using it. So um, like a crystal ball that, that would, 
Dude, he's yeah, got to fucking so rub like, it. No, what's what are yeah, the what just, are those fucking balls from Lord of the Rings? A palantir. Yeah, it's a palantir. A scene stone, right? We don't know. They're not all accounted for. The lost scene um, stones. So, so he gave they gave him this this object, and they <laughs> while he's under hypnosis, um, Zanfreda says that that they told him that they wanted him to give it specifically to someone. They wanted him to give it to an American professor, and um, what? so. So why wouldn't uh, yeah. they? Why wouldn't they abduct a fucking American? Go to America. Or why didn't they just abduct the American professor and give it right to him? Why are we fucking with Zenfreta to begin with? They could, he asked them that question because in the dialogue again, all of the, all of the transcripts of this, there's, there's a really. I, um, I was reading Brie. Why uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> um, th- there's a really good uh, the book Reno Reno Di Stefano that the reporter wrote. wrote a really great book and it's a really great account of this entire case and like the, the the dialogues that they have and all the hypnosis sessions he's got all transcripted in his book and um and this one like when they talk about this one like he's ha- he's talking to this alien and he's asking him that question like why don't you give it to him why do i have to give it to him doesn't make any sense and uh they just say like you have to give it to him. We can't give it to him. We can't get a hold of him. Like it's, it's he won't answer the phone. Call. That's just how they say it. <laughs> what about? So I was kind of thinking about this. Is like maybe it's one of those things where it's like, however they're traveling here from this, you know, this other solar system or whatever, they don't actually have complete control of whatever, like where they pop up on Earth, right? So it's like they're like, this is the intended target. Like this is one of those things. Like, oh, you're from you're from Manitoba, you know Cody, right? It's like one of those like, oh, you're from Earth, get it to this guy, right? Like they don't they don't know like their like their their sense of distance is, is yeah different. like their planet what like however their planet works is like they're here they can like travel through time and oh, you're space from Earth do you know Steve they can travel through time and space but they can't yeah like get it out? to them this is who, who this is who we're looking for right um. Yeah, it, it maybe it is some type of that that situation. But um, while he's under hypnosis, like they're asking him, you know, who are you supposed to give it to? He says, "I'm supposed to give it to some type of professor." Uh, aha, a Heineke. Like he can't he can't remember the name. And then kind of Professor Marchesen, uh, the guy uh, from the uh, uh, from the Center of Medical Psychological Hypnosis. <laughs> Uh, kind of, you know, prompts like, are you talking about Professor Heineck? Like, J. Allen Heineck, like, Operation The Blue guy. J., the yeah. guy, right? J. Allen Heineck. And it's like, he kind of prompts me, like, is <laughs> that is that who you mean? And he says, yes, yes, Heineck, that guy. I don't yeah, know. I'm not, I'm not, you're not like, supposed to do, you're not supposed yeah, to Yeah, I don't do know that. a lot like, about, uh, like, and and about the process, but I would, it's not like leading the witness. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> kind of like pushing, um, do you know this particular person? Yeah, that rings a bell. That must be. Are right. you looking for it's, the guy who's studying UFOs over in America, uh, Professor Heineck in charge of Blue Book? That that who you're looking for? Uh, that guy. Yeah, and and after this session, like they would go on to to uh, to contact Heineck. Like they actually kind of kind of wanted to to rope him in and, and and involve him in this. And they told him, you know, like we've got some kind of crazy stuff going on here uh they said at first they couldn't get a hold of him like they had to they had to go through his secretary yeah well heineck's a busy um, guy at this point in time he's, he's <laughs> well, he, wasn't, yeah, he was a professor he was doing that stuff and i imagine yeah i can't imagine like his secretary like what kinds of phone calls she was taking like she's like chewing <laughs> sn- sh- like snapping gun <laughs> ufo <Crystal> okay <laughs> <laughs> where was it Italy? Love your accent. Italy, Italy, <laughs> Italy. Okay, I'll let him know. Um, and and they managed to get in a hold of him, and and kind of Heineck, Heineck told them like, yeah, well, I mean, as any, I mean, Alan Heineck's a legit scientist, so he's just like, yeah, if you guys have something to give me, like some 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 evidence, some physical evidence, like I'll be happy to take a look at it. Um. Uh, whatever I can get my hands on. But until then, like, you can't really give an opinion, like, over the phone about, like, you know, what exactly that they were dealing with. Got a crystal ball for Heineck? I'll let him know. (laughs) Anything. Just stop the fucking chewing. I can't handle that. Oh, my God. ASMR? Is is that what it's called? People just chew into the mic? (laughs) Oh, it's awful. (laughs) Make mouth sounds. 
hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.